All right, here's a little update on this Sterling engine I've been working with. Um, I did get a little bit better crankshaft made now and uh, got things a little bit more lined up so that it's not quite so wobbly. And I worked on the uh, displacer and a number of things. And uh, right now I've got it running on this little T-light. And it's just running on stored heat energy in that steel plate right there. And then I've got cold differentiating it with... Uh, these little lids that have uh, water that I froze in the little lids. So I've got the cold now in a container rather than dripping all over the place, which is a really good idea. Unless you make a reservoir up here to run the uh, water or cold into it. drips all over the place. So I just put water in one of these lids, in these lids and then froze it. And then um, I decided what I've got here is basically a toy. Yeah, which is not a problem. Toys are fun. But the way to make this particular toy work the best is put the whole thing in the freezer. You know, get it really, really, really cold and then freeze up these little ice cube things here. And then you can use a tea light on it, which is really kind of fun. And this runs great when you do it like that. And uh, this is not an LTD motor. I wish it was, but the reality is um, it doesn't run on the heat from your hand. Uh, it's just a regular Stirling motor, Stirling engine uh, that runs on a, a heat differential. But man, I've learned a lot by doing this project. And right now I'm looking at the um, the free piston version of this. And I'm real interested in trying to build a free piston uh, Stirling engine. And there's several real neat designs out there for the, the home hobbyist. But, uh, um, there is a refrigerator made by Coleman that uses a free piston uh, Stirling engine in it that I'm real interested in it because it will work better on a boat than what I've got currently got. And uh, it, uh, it will freeze where the thermoelectric coolers won't freeze. And then the compressor driven ones are real energy thirsty. And these Stirling engines, the, the free piston one, um, is more efficient than the compressor driven ones that I'm used to. So anyway, I'm looking into the free piston design of a Stirling engine, and I'll be probably trying to make one of those. But uh, yeah, I've learned a lot from this, uh, this device. This was a real interesting uh, study for me on thermodynamics and how you can take a heat source and differentiate it with cold and make mechanical energy um, convert it so anyway I've, uh, I've really enjoyed this they become very addictive uh, very similar to the jewel thief circuits where you make one you gotta make another one you gotta make another one you gotta make them better and uh, they're very time consuming and when you don't get stuff right they don't work and uh, so it's a real frustrating project but uh, I sure had a lot of fun with this so far. This has been a real interesting series of uh, builds for me. Thanks for watching.